Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you the interior build. I've been working on this for more than a couple of months and it's going to be a very good interior build, it's a unique one. But before I do that, I'm going to show you um, what I did around my vehicle. Okay, so first of all, I put this um, a roof rack and a case where I put my recovery gears over here and actually this helps a lot with the aerodynamics of the camper. Before I had this one, um, my MPG is really low because I think the, the air or the wind goes and it gets trapped over here and it slows down um, the flow of the, the travel of the truck. But with this, um, it really improves the MPG. And then I put um, a Max truck and I like this mount right here. It's made by um, Expedition Essentials. And the way I like this one is because it's lockable. I can unlock it to get out like that. And it's so easy to pull out the Max trucks as compared to the four pins of the Max trucks. And come around here. On this side, I have this um, propane tank mount. This is made by AT Overland, right here. And I really like this, this is uh, like a 10 or 11 pounds. And also here, I mounted these Rotopax. This is for the diesel, for my diesel heater. And this is also for the gas. I used the rail, um, fabricated um, a plate to be able to mount this roto packs. It's very, very sturdy. And I'm gonna show you part of my interior build here. Okay, let me just close that down first. that one later okay over here this is where the shore power plug is so I can charge the battery inside or I can use um, AC current directly from the shore power and over here if you can look close here this is where the tank of my diesel for my diesel heater and I did it this way so it's very accessible um, I also put a port here for an added external solar panel so I can plug external um, solar panel and I can have power inside um, I did all this before um, I build this what I really wanted to have is I wanted a refrigerator inside this I want to have a dinette I want to have a place where I can lounge inside I want to have a toilet and um, countertop a sink a stove and um, projector screen where we can watch a movie inside and that's um, what I wanted to have on my build and I did it I put everything on it and I'll show you guys so without further ado it's all go inside and I'll show you let's go I'm gonna show you the interior over here okay so um this is the, my build, this is the bed. This is gonna be like a twin size bed. But, you know, we're not that tall person. We're not that tall people so we can sleep sideways. But, if we want to slide this bed this way, it can still be pulled out all the way here because nothing interferes with my design, okay? 
pull this one out all the way here and turns this into a king size bed. So this is my interior build, as you can see. I put a bench type here, we can, we can lounge, like two or three people can lounge here and there's another one person over here. So in that way, if I put the table up, you know, we can dine over here. So I have a countertop, I have a sink over here. If I turn the switch on, I have water from my water tank. I have my water tank down here. I have 10 um, gallons of water in my water tank and water pump. Now, all these here are my electricals. I will show you. Open this one up. These are all my electricals. I have a short power um, charger at 100 amps. So if I plug the short power from outside, it can charge my battery at the rate of 1,200 watts. I also have a pure sine wave inverter, a 3,000 watts inverter. And it's all fused. And this is my diesel um, heater control. And this is my battery monitor. I also have um, 12 volt USB and USB-C plugs. You can charge your electronics and whatever, but I do it this way where you can pull this one out and it's also a cigarette lighter plug. So it's a double purpose charger. And I put three of them, one down here and one down there. And that way everybody, wherever you sit, you can charge your electronics. Now, I wanna show you what's been it here. If I pull this one up like that, this is where I place my refrigerator. I have a refrigerator and a freezer over here. Down here, my Laveo toilet so uh, this is mounted on a 500 pound slider so you can take crap you don't need water here it's a dry flush toilet over here is where I place my um, propane stove and also my um, saucepan I only use a saucepan it's a double purpose I can make a, so I already showed this one right okay and way down here is um, where I place my cutleries my spices and all that and whatever miscellaneous stuff that I can put down there over here This is where I place my diesel heater. I also have a um, fuse box over here for everything that's connected over here. And I also have a DC to DC charger that I place down here. Underneath here is where I place the 300 amp hour battery. So the diesel heater's vent is gonna come out from here. And uh, the, the tank, as I've showed earlier, can be accessed outside so I can refill uh, the diesel. Now down here, underneath here, is where I place my 10 gallons of water. So, this one, if I prepare some stuff in here, I can cook, I can extend this too, just like that. So, a bigger counter space, countertop right here space. Put it back down. Put this. So, one person can also sit down right here. Go. Cool. Okay. Okay, so... This is our lagoon table. You can even twist it like this. 
so we can eat one person can sit here and I'm gonna turn this lagoon table into a bed so the way we're gonna do this is just gonna pull this one out and we're gonna drop this We take this cushion here, place it down there, take this another one, and this will turn into another bed, and one person can sleep over here. Uh, my son actually, which is the person that is on the camera right now, and sleep also over here and to top it all if we place um, a projector down here on this table we have also have a projector screen right here we can watch a movie at night so I'm just gonna place this one right here and you know what let me just show it to you how I do this. It's not gonna take long anyway. Yeah. This is how we do it. Right there. Yeah. And we watch movie, it's a 50 inch screen. I'll show you later how we're gonna do it. Hell no. Okay, just be quiet. All right, play cool. Huh? Devil! Hey, hey, hey. You kidnapped me, and he said he's gonna use my pretty face to make your million dollars. Sorry, he had a brain yeah. damage. So I have a 110 plug here. I have an induction cooktop, and if I want to cook, I can just get my. Pan right here and I will turn the inverter on right there and as you can see it's beeping it turns on and if I turn that on it's actually gonna heat up right here there you go it's starting to heat up but no this is gonna turn it off this is a demo. Um, we also have a microwave. The good thing about this microwave is it's the smallest microwave I could find. And if I close this down, I can actually close it without compressing this. It's just really um, snug fit. I can still close the camper down. So I'm gonna plug this right here. I'm gonna turn the inverter on. As you can see, it's turning on right now. And if I start to cook, maybe um, like two seconds, start. There you go, it works. So we can cook popcorn or whatever we can heat up or do some microwaving here. Um, my inverter can handle it because I have a 3000 watts of pure sign inverter. So it works really good. I'll turn it up, and that's how we operate here in this five foot bed Tacoma. Thank you. So, I think that wraps up everything that I have here inside this camper. Thank you very much for watching.
बाय